Hello friends, welcome to the DYBSC IT Semester 5 Internet of Things Practicals. Today's practical is to display time over 4 digit 7 segment display using Raspberry Pi. Let's see what is the program we require to implement this time display. So we need to import some packages like import SYS that is system package import time, import date time, import rpi.gpio as gpio and import tm1637. Then we need to in initialize this display with this statement. Also we need to add this display.clear and display.set brightness. Now these two statements can be optional. Then in a continuous loop we have to instance we have to create an instance of the date time so here is the object creation of date time so date time dot date time dot now will give you the instance or the object using this object we can create this objects like hour minute and second this can be used to create or to format our time that we are going to display on 4 by 7 segment led then you have to display that so display dot show and in bracket val means it will display this formatted time on it and then display dot show double point it's actually the colon so that every after two seconds the colon will be displayed and then time dot sleep is used so that you can show the time animated or you can show that time is updating so to show this we can use time dot sleep remember one thing along with this python script we need one more python script and that is tm1637.py now this you will find on internet also we don't need to write it all this you can download it from the internet and then you can store it exactly in the same location where your this program script going to be so this is very necessary to know that under the same directory and under the same folder this two python script need to reside if you don't have this file with you you can ask me in a comments i will be providing it to you through emails now this is how your id will look like python id where you are going to write a program one more thing to uh, tell you that I am using BCM specification where I am using the pinout or pin numbers according to the BCM. So how to find out that what pin in BCM is the actual physical pin. So to do that you can click on this command prompt and after clicking on command prompt just write gpio.readall command. Press enter and you will get this information. So here is you see if I am using pin number 23 as my some output pin. So in actually uh, in physical the number of this pin is 16 but on B BCM pinout specification it is 23. If I am using 24 on BCM but in actual or physical it is the pin number 18 and accordingly. So you can check that what is the physical number of the pin and if you are using BCM specification what are the pin numbers specified. So as here I am using this pin numbers like for uh, this 4 by 7 segment LED I need 4 connections. One is ground, one is plus VCC. So the ground and plus VCC you can connect to any of this 5.0 uh, volt pin provided and ground pin provided. There are multiple plus VCC uh, and ground pins are there. You can identify them and you can use any of those pins. For DIO this pin number is connected to the 24th pin on BCM specification. So if on BCM it is 24th pin how to count or how to find out that which is that actual pin number so on physical pin number 24 from BCM is 18 and similarly we are using pin number 23 for this clock pin so pin number 23 in BCM is actually pin number 16 on the physical pin out of Raspberry Pi 
So in this way, you can use this GPIO space read all command to find out which pin you need to count and connect to the circuit properly. I will be showing you the circuit setup hereafter. There also you will try to find out that how to count the pin numbers from physical pin numbers and from DCM specification. So to set up the circuit, we require a Raspberry Pi we require a breadboard so I'm going to use I'm not going to deal directly with the Raspberry Pi pins so I am inserting this here so that all my Raspberry Pi pins I can extend to this breadboard furthermore I require this 4x7 segment LED display look at this back side of this 4x7 segment LED display. So there are connections already specified. This is ground pin, this is VCC, this is DIO and this is clock pin. So to connect these four pins to this Raspberry Pi T connector, I need such type of pins which are female to male connectors if you are not going to use this t connector you may directly need to insert a pin here as well as here so in this case you need female to female jumper wire this is that type female to female hmm. jumper wire so since i am going to insert pins here i need female to male connectors so I am going to follow the conventions so I will be uh, using black color for ground red color for VCC then I am going to use white color for DIO pin and this gray color for clock pin now I can connect this plus VCC pin to any of this plus VCC then you can use any of this ground pin which are marked on this BCM so you can use any of this pin so use this or this ground pin then the DIO pin according to the program specification the DIO pin that is which is a white colored pin is to be inserted in pin number 24 according to the BCM spin specification and then this clock pin which is in gray color for me I'm going to insert it at 23 so this is my circuit setup so these are the four pins that I need to connect now I need to connect my Raspberry Pi to my uh, laptop screen so I'll first go for advanced IP scanner this advanced IP scanner will give me the IP address of my Raspberry Pi remember if you want to connect your Raspberry Pi and your laptop your laptop and your Raspberry Pi need to be on the same LAN network so here I'm using my one of my LAN network that is RT2 the same with same network my Raspberry Pi is also connected so here you see that we got the Raspberry Pi whose IP address is 192.168.43.165 now I'll go for VNC viewer and I will try to connect my Raspberry Pi with that IP address so to do that I'll use the new connection every time it is need not to connect uh, the new connection this is just for demonstration purpose that I am doing it every time so the number was 165 IP address and here um, I'm giving some name instance name DI this can be any name so this instance DI is created now it will ask me the username and password so by default the username is always by and the password by default is uh, raspberry in small letters so if i click ok you see that my 
screen my uh, raspberry pi screen is extended to my laptop screen so here you see that the wi-fi that i was using was the same wi-fi that i am using for laptop so now here uh, let us write a new program now to write the new program or to open the program and execute the program you need this programming python id so i have already written the code which i have explained so i will not be use, uh, wasting my time in writing a new program instead i will open the program from the saved directory and will execute will show you the execution so this is my python script you see that the program that uh, i'm going to use to display the time and this tm1637 file need to be under the same folder so this is the program that i'm going to use to display the code or uh, display the time so when you click on run module you will see there will be no output shown on this python command prompt or python output but the output will be shown on the circuit or on the 4 by 7 segment display so this is the circuit setup and this is the code if I'm going to click on run module this will execute but no output will be seen here but the output will be seen here so this is what the circuit setup and the time will be displayed thank you for watching this video